so it's another day <laughs> why am i so happy to start recording i don't even know anyway my favorite on one of my favorite stretches heading to the library but we're gonna do a stopover in the next few meters yeah it's like 10 meters away ah uh, let me flip the screen i'm sure where we're going there's a cop coming a sense in haraz Specifically, we're going to Queen Delhi. So, yeah. Hmm. I don't know, I thought it would be just right. The entrance. <laughs> but it's a whole drive. It's so beautiful. bit of this video i am at queen delhi slash padel they share the same space i don't know if they're run by the same person but i think so so padel is the place where play, people play padel i'm still trying to figure out what is the difference between padel and tennis because it looks the same but this one the net is a bit lower but anyway i don't know if it's the same i don't know if it's different but yeah i'm at queen delhi it's on what is this road called okay i use it every day and i've forgotten huh is it, it's, what is the name of this road? I don't even know, but I'll put it here. It's just along that road, the one, and uh, it's right behind. Uh, an easier way of putting it on the map would be it's right behind Village Market, the mall. Yeah. So, yeah, when you, I don't know how familiar you are with this, if not many people are, especially if you don't live on this side and if you don't come to this side a lot. Uh, hey, so, how do I do that? So, Village Market has several gates. There's the popular one that is on the Muru Road, that's the main gate. And then if you come to the back, through the basement, there's another exit or entrance. And then also aside from that, there's a footpath that they've created between the mall and the next establishment that you can use to also access this route. So yeah, the, the, the road itself would be very helpful if I remember it. Well, I said I'd put, I'd put it there. But it's right, like when you use gate, is it gate D? I don't know, the gate behind. No, no, there are two gates behind. Guy, okay, this is difficult. There's another one down there, the one I normally use to go to Palette, which is on UN Crescent, off UN Crescent. So that one, the other gate is on towards Monana of Indian Kam Tashikanisha. So there's another gate on that side, it might be gate E, and then this one is gate D, and or vice versa. If I'm mixing them up, yeah. So from gate D, you just come up and then. It's, it's a walking distance by the way you could easily walk it's less than five minute walk like a minute walk yeah even on a very slow pace you literally, it's literally the first gate on your left when you take that road i hope that is clear <laughs> anyway this this roofing over here but anyway there's my cappuccino and the art is so elaborate i don't know yeah and i'm having it with this poisson <laughs> yes that one you know how it gives us Afri well it gives us non-french speaking people 
trouble pronouncing and it comes with pistachio filling pistachio what i don't know there's a word for it i'll show you on the menu and now i'm not even sure how i'm supposed to inject it is it sideways is it from this point i don't even know but let me figure that out and enjoy this as i work as usual my laptop has gone off but yeah i'm at work but i'm trying to make it fun i hope you can hear me by the way so i already had my a first sip of this I took i had to take off my my sweater because it's a hot day i was even about to hesitate on ordering a cappuccino but then i peeped and saw somebody's cup and it looked like it was so nice and i was right <laughs> after sipping it's really nice so good now for this guy this guy why am i pointing here and it's here <laughs> the, the, the croissant <laughs> That word will forever make me laugh until I attend French classes and I learn my pronunciations. But yeah, now we come to this huge sea range. I feel like a doctor today. Since we couldn't go to qualify to go to med school, this is our chance. <laughs> okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna try and put it in between this. I think we should do this together. Let me put the glass aside. So, this layers. I'm going to try and insert it in one of them and then inject. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I would be a terrible doctor. And she's in. So now. <laughs> it takes a lot of effort. I'm an immune student. I look at my terrible nail situation. Gosh, I'm always with a bad nail. Eh? Oh god, I think I'm doing something wrong. I might just need a lot of energy. There you go. There you go. Oh god, let me finish struggling with this and then we enjoy it. But I think I am making progress. It's moved. So yeah. Okay, one more time. I really need to go see my nail tech. Can you hear me? There's all these people talking. Okay. I'm sweating. Okay, time for the. <laughs> so I'm gonna peep you in or whatever. Yay, we did a good job. You can't see it on camera, but it's filled up. I'm proud of my doctoral skills. <laughs> yeah, so let's do a test. A test, test, test. Okay. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But now we want, I wanted to start with a part that is well filled. So I don't know if I should peel it back or if I should just give it time until I get to the center. Because that's where all the filling went. Let's see. Oh, look at how flaky that is. Super flaky. Look at the flakes. Gosh. Let's keep this for later because we need to test with the pistachio filling. This has very little pistachio. Okay, this is quite messy. So don't, don't, don't mind it. There you go. I wish I had done this instead. It's like a droplet. Mm. 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 So good. So, so good. It's amazing. Amazing. Oh, yeah, now I can show you the feeling. Just a moment. There's the feeling. Yep, not the clearest view, but there you go and see how flaky this is. Gosh, amazing. Amazing. I know Pindeli is essentially, I don't even know, essentially an Italian inspired place. I don't know if it's me who's assuming or that is the situation. Because the menu is very, it's giving Italian vibes. And there's somebody sipping their spritz over there. So I'm going to assume. But in as much as that is the case, I'm trying to make this my little fika moment. 
<laughs> ah, before I resume work. Mm. Mm. Sorry about that. Mm -mm. Sorry about that. Mm. But I'm really questioning the sound quality. But anyway. Mm. This feeling, this feeling, 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 <laughs> test and test. Malimo English, you couldn't find any. Anyway, this feeling, I could actually drink it. It's so nice. Coffee. I really, 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 really love this. I'm a, when was the last time I had coffee? Because coffee for me is not really, I don't use coffee for the reasons it was invented for. Not really invented for. The reason why most people use it. So since we're calling this speaker, I decided to leave here. <coughs> why am I whispering? Anyway, since we decided to make this a whole thing I decided to make it a whole thicker break with, by reading because it's my lunch break anyway um, don't ask why I'm having coffee at lunch time I had a heavy breakfast <laughs> so yeah and I don't have a com company to try the charcuterie board which okay today there's a lot of what they're struggling with Anyway, the grace board they have that for they have a platter for two, so I probably need the company to come try that food next time. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee and finish up on the last few pages of this book that I left, and then I take it back to the library once I'm done working. That was the plan. I don't even know why I was pretending to work over lunch. <laughs> doesn't help that I'm a messy eater. View from the top. Quite a nice, nice space. <coughs> I don't know what it's with you. Is it, it is with me and it's whispering today. There's people here so I don't want to record them. Oh yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. And then that's the paddle, please. In the group sitting area, more dining, one more dining table, and where I am seated, and then there's those extra ones. So I would say ample spacing. There's even more room over there if they wanted to. They could probably do something with that. Oh. I can't just try the space. I wasn't sure what to get, but I was full. Uh, not really full, but I had had a heavy breakfast, so I didn't want to eat much. I got the pistachio filled croissant. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not saying right. Croissant, croissant. Anyway, yeah, that one. And I also got the cappuccino. I'm hoping the next time I come back here, and there's definitely going to be a next time, considering how much I have loved the space. It's, it's, gosh, I, and I'm hoping to come back and try their grace board. <laughs> My, my my brain is just pacha 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 i don't even know it's all over the place yeah so i'm hoping to come back and try that but i love the the cappuccino it was really good the coffee was amazing and then the, the croissant as you will have seen it was very flaky it was very flavorful the pistachio feeling just added that extra oomph that you would need i'm glad i didn't go for the nutella option they have a nutella option as well for the filling for the filled croissants gosh that one keeps coming up <laughs> 
but the waiter who was waiting on me recommended that I try the pistachio one because I was also looking to try something I've never tried before. I've tried something with Nutella filling before, was it Nutella or chocolate? But I figured it might be more, one, more or less the same thing. So I got the pistachio and I have no regrets, absolutely. So I'm looking forward to coming back to try their the, the grace board and whatever else. I've also seen they have focaccia sandwiches and I have peeped from the same person I pe who's, who's cappuccino I peeped on before making up my mind. And it looks really ta in, in it, um, it looks really sweet. I've tried a focaccia sandwich once before at Mondo Pane. By Rimini, Rimini by Mondo Pane. Gosh, it's not Mondo Pane, it's Rimini by Mondo Pane at the courtyard, Gigiri courtyard. It was also nice. It was really nice by the way. So I'm thinking I should try that as well. So, but I, I'm sure I'll be coming here so many times because it's giving me the vibes I like for working from home. Because <laughs> it has like this secluded terrace section and then there's the open area downstairs. And it's quiet. There's no, there was music earlier on, like jazzy vibes, but it's been turned off. I didn't mind the music as well. And yeah they have a, a, quite the variety not the broadest but it works on their menu so that's another reason i would come back and also i would love to try this paddle thing i'll ask them how how one goes about that you have to be a pro how much are the charges and whatnot and i'll share that in the video i hope i remember to ask before i leave i'm sure i will because it's so glaring also every time i look at it like from my peripheral view i keep thinking it's a pool so yeah, that's why I was going to say it's giving me Nini vibes. What's this place called? Fifth Avenue by Gigiri, which is also on the same road. <laughs> but further ahead, like past the courtyard and then past the US Embassy, like opposite Apple. I, I keep pointing like a Kenyan giving me instructions. <laughs> but I'm sure it's not helpful, but they are on the same route. It has the same vibe. And what else? Yeah, I love that, that it's quiet. I love that it's serene it's a hot day but at least the, the two trees around are giving me much needed wind and whatever but for now i need to my fika break is done so i need to get to work because we want we, we have so much to do by the way we need to catch up on so many things for work and So the music is back on, you can hear they're playing some, what is this genre called? I don't do well with classifying music according to genres, but yeah, is this funk, old school funk, I don't even know funk, let me not even pretend. And then, another thing is that there are so many, wait, I don't want their faces to show. Yeah, there's th another development is that there is lots of kids who come to play paddle. They look like school-going kids, so I don't know if it's a spot in their curriculum or whatever. But the place is now all lively. There's even somebody who looks like either a dad or a coach. <laughs> and they all look like pros. Anyway, I still don't understand the difference. But that's it. The speaker is over there. It's, it's a bit loud. But we have our earphones and it's not noisy like there's no other noise well it's not it's loud but it's not too noisy yeah but that's it now let me resume work in malaysia in the end so there's normally like tournament yeah, the tournament. Oh. The next tournament, the tournament will be maybe start of October. Okay. Alright. So off we go to the library. Just a, not a stone throw away, but it's quite close. So let's go. left on this to finish. This is the book that has brought me here today. So now I'm sitting here and you are sitting to finish up on those last few pages. I couldn't manage to do it over there because of work. And then I submit the book and borrow another one. So.
I'm so confused on what to get today because we did not obsess over it and overthink what you're getting next. But for some reason, I'm drawn either to Kenyan writing. But at the moment, what I would really like to read is this one, Things They Lost by Okwiri or Duor. But I'm, I'm trying to get over my slump first before I delve into this thickness. It's not even the thickest, but we are struggling a little right now, so we can't get that. And the small, small ones we've already read, like almost all of them. Yeah. And alternatively, I'm thinking to get something from the. Oops, that has. We need fiction African. Well, something from within Africa. I don't want to leave the, the continent <laughs> this time. So I've looked through, and I think what I'm gonna pick, I just thought it would be fun to pull this out with you. I was thinking either Beasts of No Nation or. Where has it gone? It was right here. <laughs> where has it gone? Oh my, I didn't get it from this section. Okay, Imenda. So I was actually confused because I was trying to get it from this category, but you make one under historical fiction. Yeah. I think I'm going to get this At Night While Blood is Black by David. Yeah, I've always wanted to read it so and it's not very long. Because the font I just wanted to pull this out with you because I thought that would be fun. So ta -da 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 -da. That's what we're getting, and what we brought back is this guy. So, until our slump is over, we are keeping off fat, fat books. <laughs> we have our book. Let me use this as an opportunity to show you my OOTD. It's a little black dress, <laughs> and that's, that's it. I just figured, no, not for any particular reason, but there was a mirror, and we just had to. <laughs> okay, enough of that. One time. This is like a street I meant, the road. <laughs> so far there, the same area. And then, for craft center, it's back there, back there, and then some fights. <sighs> and that's trademark over there. We're here by recommendation of one of the waiters. Uh, what's the name of the place again? <laughs> Queen Delhi. So this is where they source their ice cream from. all i stopped over at zucchini to get bread because bread is important i also contemplated getting the ice cream because it's usually my ice cream plug but anyway i decided to call it a day i hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe share comment bye